Apothecary 87 clay versus Lockhart matte clay. This is Brown Battle. Hi guys, so why I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to episode five, season four of Brand Battle. Now, if you're new to Brand Battle and you're thinking, what is a Brand Battle? Then essentially, I take two products that say they do very similar things and I battle them out to see who will reign supreme. Now, this one is a battle that I'm excited to do. We're going back to the home brewers. We have got Lockhart, who are from Michigan, versus Apothecary 87, which is in my homeland of the UK. I have done reviews on Apothecary 87, and Lockhart's Mac Clay has actually been in two brand battles before, so they know their way around a battle. Um, I actually said in the review for Apothecary 87 that these two products are a bit like brother and sister. So it is now time, brother and sister, to fight it out. Now straight into ingredients. Apothecary 87 comes in this gorgeous box and they have got petrolatin at the top, so it's oil-based. So we've then got kaolin, which is the type of clay, kira, lanolin, other stuffy stuff stuff, um, and the addition of vitamin E, which is good for our hair. All that good stuff. Then Lockhart's again, another oil-based clay. We have got beeswax, or our mate Kira Alba, on the top there. Um, we then have, oh, Kowlin, he's also in the lineup. Petrolatum, water, so it does actually have water in it, um, and then various other bits. Oh, also uh, tea tree oil and lavender oil. Gorgeous. Now, this it's tricky because some brands shout about certain things and they say we've got this we don't include this and we don't do this and actually these brands could maybe learn something from those brands in order to try and boost it and make it appear to be better than it is so i'm really just going to do it because it goes on about the addition of vitamin e and because i actually like the way my hair feels after using this so the point goes to Apothecary 87. Packaging and brand, they both look fine. I'm, I'm just not a fan really of these sort of plastic tubs. I tend to think that this can make it look quite cheap. And I think with home brewers, I love when they do a glass jar or something, it just feels a little bit more premium. But they're okay. Apothecary 87 comes in this box and then has a little jar with their sort of faux heritage vibe. Um, then Lockhart looks fine. And actually, I prefer it. So the point goes to, Lockhart's. Now, you guys know that season four of Brand Battle has a sponsor, and that is Tiege Hanley. Now, these guys are all about uncomplicated skincare for men, really giving us the products we need, the amount we need, and telling us how much to use. Now, I've spoken about the various systems in the past few videos, but this one I want to focus, but this one I want to focus on system three. Now, this is perfect if you've got slightly aging, maybe like me, skin. System three has all the goodness of system one and two, which is the face wash, the scrub, the AM moisturizer, the PM moisturizer, the eyes, and then the super serum. Now, the super serum is a product that you'll use after you wash your face, before you use your AM moisturizer, and also in the evening before you use your PM moisturizer. But the ingredients in this really work to hold on to that moisture and hydration in our skin, to keep it supple, smooth, and plump, really sort of keeping it looking young. Now the key ingredients in this are sodium hyaluronate, retinol palmitate, and acetyl hexapeptide 8, the one that we heard about in the eyes the last week. Now, sodium hyaluronate promotes microcirculation to smooth the skin and also reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. The retinal palmitate in this helps to stimulate collagen and then the acetyl hexapeptide 8, there you go, is a paralytic peptide, which does sound a little bit scary, but what that does is to help relax the muscles. So really sort of slow down the aging process. I mean, if we could turn back time, that would be amazing, but this is all about sort of preventing. And one key prevention, great link, is an SPF. And as I've spoken about before, the AM moisturizer from T. Hanley has an SPF 20 and has received a big tick from the Skin Cancer Foundation who recommend it. But guys, what I'll do is I'll link T. Hanley in the description below and also in the pinned comment for you guys to get a great deal on your system. Into smell, we have the Lockhart's product, which doesn't have a huge 
sort of scent to it. There is a slight herbaceous quality to it, which I, I kind of like. Versus the Apothecary 87, this is vanilla and mango, and it does smell like vanilla and mango. There's a, there's a slight sweetness to it that I actually really quite like, and it smells like nothing else on the market. So the point goes to Apothecary 87. Now, although these products are both oil-based, they actually start to feel quite different. They both have a slight resistance in order to scoop them out, but the Lockhart's product definitely feels slightly drier, which means I think you've got to work just slightly harder to get through the hair. Versus the Apothecary 87, which has got a bit more of a sort of waxy consistency to it, and it does sort of tend to glide through the hair. But this, this one's difficult because I think they're so different in the way that they apply and the way that they feel that I am going to split the points, one each. Now for styling, the Lockhart's product is great. Get it in, work it up. I do find that with this product, you tend to have to use a lot more. So you have to layer. So put in that first layer, work it through, stop. Put in a second layer, work it through, stop a third layer and then get to the point that you really like. Um, because it's quite dry, I, I do feel like you've got to work quite quickly, but the styling is there. Versus the Apothecary 87, which is so responsive. I often say this about hair products, but when I push it, I want it to go there. I want it to have grip. I want it to have volume. And that's exactly what this does. It does tend to sort of glide through the hair. You can have it slicked back. You can have it up and over. And it's it really is very easy to work with. So the full three points go to Apothecary 87. Now into finish, I uh, like the texture of both these products. I like that in a clay and that's kind of what I'm expecting. I want a bit of movement in the hair, I want a bit of definition, and you definitely get that. But when we're looking at uh, the Lockhart's one, I mean, it, it says it's matte and I, I think it's got a slight sort of shine to it, a natural gloss, but it's definitely there versus the Apothecary 87, which although feels slightly waxier, I think looks slightly more matte. And I think kind of with the versatility of the product, it, it tends to have a better finish all round. So I'm gonna give one point to Lockhart's and four points to Apothecary 87. Now for hold, you know how it goes. At first, it's Lockhart's. That's it in. Good hold so far against the head, loads of texture and volume in the top. Natural sort of shine. Okay, right. It's, uh, it's done okay. A definite dropping and it doesn't feel as stable as a lot of other products. Um, but it's still matte and it still has some texture. Hold isn't great. And Apothecary 87. Right, so far, low shine, good hold. But we shall see. Looking, feeling good, natural drop. But actually, just saw there, pop straight back in. I like that it just holds its texture and also it feels PC, which I think is great with this product. You know, if it is gonna drop, it's gonna drop with style. So the Lockhart's hold isn't great. And I think because the product's slightly drier, it drops faster and then it's slightly harder to work back in. Versus the Apothecary 87, which again has that natural drop, but because it is waxier and I think oilier, it, um, it works in so much quicker, so much easier. And actually, I feel like it retains that finish that you had from the start. So the full four points are going to Apothecary 87. Washability, both products are oil-based and one of the products is, is actually really very hard to wash out. That would be the Apothecary 87. And you really have to get a shampoo and if you want to remove all the product, versus the Lockhart's, which actually really is very easy to wash out. So I'm gonna give the two points to Lockhart's. Price and value, I always say, and this really does matter on this one, comes down to where you live, posting, packaging, import taxes. One company is from the UK and has lots of distributors here and in Europe, that's Apothecary 87, versus Lockhart's, which although they do have distributors in Europe and there's places in the UK, it's more readily available in the US. And when you kind of put the costs up against each other, there's actually not much in it. I would say that, check out manfromself.com. I have all these products plus more across fragrance, skincare, hair care, and I've got loads of different prices. So you will always find the best price there and they are constantly updated. But in this case, if you're in the UK, 
Apothecary 87. If you're in the US, Lockhart. So it's one point each. And there you go with six points. It's Lockhart versus Apothecary 87's 15 points. A really good win there. Got to say Apothecary 87 is a product that I used a lot. It was actually my most used of 2017. Then I kind of moved on to different products and kind of played with other things. And then I was reminded of this and have been reminded how much I love this. It's just such a great product. Sure, it's a bit oily. You've got to wash it out with a shampoo, but it just really does deliver and it's so versatile. And I really love Lockhart's and kind of what they're doing. But this, the Macley, is not necessarily a product that I would reach for. So this really is very good. But thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. Be sure to check out the products. I will link them down below in the description. Also a link to manforhimself.com and Tej Hanley down there. But if you're new to my channel, you have not yet pressed subscribe, then you're gonna hit subscribe right now. Go on, do it. The button is just there. So also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Product pages, manforhimself.com there. Brand battle, episodes, come and see them up there. Also with my social Instagram there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.